This is commonly dubbed as the world's most strangest or the world's most weirdest house. It's easy to understand why. This house was built a long time ago by someone who actually used this as his holiday home. It's built out of boulders that was originally sitting on top of this hilltop. Both the walls and I believe the ceiling is essentially just rock. And what makes this place even more peculiar, you're not gonna believe this, I couldn't believe it. When I saw this place from satellite imagery and I saw what they have over here, I, th I thought it was a joke. Look at this. <laughs> it's a fucking swimming pool. Do you see that? A swimming pool built into the rock here. Unfortunately, this won't open until another month from now. I would have loved to swim in that swimming pool. <laughs> Damn. There's another house in here. There's two boulder houses, not just one. There's two of them. What? <laughs> and I paid only two euros to get in here. That's cheap for being able to experience something like this. Material for building a third house. Hey, what's up? Yeah, how are you doing? Um, fine, thank you. <laughs> you're, not, you're not burning up in this uh, warm weather? Well, I'm sitting in the shade. So you're two people here working the property. Yeah. It's five euros to get in and get a guide, right? So, and you're the guide. Yeah, exactly. So if I give you three euros now, will you show me the inside? Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay, cool. Let's do it. One euro. Three, not film the inside of the not house. Not film the inside. Why not? Uh, the house is very tight to the family and it's quite private. I think what you're trying to do, you're trying to keep it a secret what it looks like inside so that it doesn't leak on the internet and then people have more of an, uh, That's more of, yeah, you I know, what you, what, exactly. What you're so let's go to the Yeah, shade. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. I'm fucking burning up. I'm going to give you some audio and something nice to watch while you listen to that audio. Do you have air conditioning in here? No, uh, go in, go in, go ahead. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. It's so cold in here. What an amazing little house. Now I understand why you don't want us to film this. It is really the most amazing interior probably I've seen my whole life. We have uh, water, gas. The question was if uh, we have electricity here in our home. We don't. The house uh, was inaugurated in 1974. It's the year of the revolution here in Portugal. We became more of a democracy than we were before. So, wait. You're a democracy now? Yes. Okay. So we were uh, we were under democracy since uh, 1910, but uh, there was a okay. period where yeah. uh, it was a... Uh... Well, it wasn't so much fun living in Portugal. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So to recap, if I may, to of recap, course. there was a... This was a place for a, uh, for a family vacation. Without the house, they used to come here, the whole family, the kids were playing we around. Here, uh, once and only once okay if i'm not mistaken once and in that time they thought well this is a great place to, to build, build a house to build a house absolutely damn right <laughs> out of boulders uh we uh, just got company here uh, <laughs> i'm never gonna i'm never gonna be able to finish this tour i'm, I'm burning up <laughs> and he goes on and on and on about all the history oh jesus okay cut the road leading to this boulder house, it's not exactly maintained. <laughs> and for whatever reason, they have put all of these piles of dirt on the road. See this pile over here? I can barely navigate around it. Gosh, it's nice to be back in, in the car with air conditioning. Yesterday, I came to Chavez, Portugal. Extremely beautiful city, Chavez. They have a super big casino there, which I really wanted to go to. Oh, my car was skidding off the road. That was scary. Anyways, so it got so ridiculously warm and I looked at the weather, the weather report, and it said that it was gonna be 38 degrees every day for a whole week. And so, yeah, I figured I can't, I can't handle that. I had loads of stuff planned uh, for us to go visit in the middle of Portugal, including this boulder house. But, you know, 10 more stuff, super cool stuff. 
that I had to skip now because I am on my way to the coast. Along the coastline, it's the only, quote unquote, only uh, 28, 29 degrees. So it's a difference of 10 whole Celsius. I've been driving all day today and I'm gonna keep driving a couple of more hours. <laughs> I'm, working. <laughs> I'm working on my computer as we drive. Uh, stupid. I found a stray dog. Come. Come on. There's a stray dog here. He looks like he hasn't had any food in a million years out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm going to feed him some cat food. Oh no, poor guy. He's running off. Look where I am. We were driving on a country road when I see this guy walking like a skeleton in the middle of the road. Poor little guy. Oh wow. You see way over there? The sunset over the mountain. That's pretty cool. something out the window. That's not cool. Not cool. Okay. So we're gonna ask them, we're gonna ask the idiots uh, what is the problem. No, my coffee machine tipped over. <sighs> good, 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 good. So sorry about that. <clears throat> there is nothing that pisses me off more than bad behavior in traffic. Bad behavior in traffic, actually I'm quite fine with it. But when an idiot, is honking at me, waving their hands at me, I fucking explode. And four tattooed guys in this little fucking car, they weren't so fucking cocky when I show up and ask them what the fuck is the problem. So, long story short, we are friends now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they're gonna be waving their hands at more people, at more motorhomes. Guys act in a certain way when they are in a group. They, they get all cocky and start acting bad. They misbehave. But we are friends now. It's cool. Let's go. Let's continue to the coastline. I'm passing through this little cute village here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and find parking in this village and then I'll drive at the last hour tomorrow morning. Um, I have no idea where I am by the way, other than uh, being one hour away from the coastline. And what I usually do every evening is to go out on an evening walk and having my evening walks in a new city is always the most fun which I kind of do every day <laughs> anyways that's my this is my life you know 
as go to new places all the time. So there seems to be a lot of activities happening to, to the right here. So I'm definitely going to go in here to this place on my evening walk. Definitely gonna go in here. Should I bring the camera? That's the question. Should I bring the camera? I don't know. I usually don't bring the camera with me on evening walks. Okay, I can try. The fuck? What? Look, number one, I don't even know which city that I am in right now. I have no idea. But I'm going to put it as a title here. <laughs> there's a whole lot of people here. It's packed with people. So there's clearly a festival going on. And I have no idea what this festival is. But I'm going to put it as a title. <laughs> I want me an ice cream. They have all of these huts alongside the entire street here. But what they keep on display here doesn't make any sense. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est quoi? Ça? What, what, is, uh, what is going on in this village? It's uh, Santo Antonio. The party. Uh, what's up with all of these huts here? Are you selling yes. this? Yes, we are uh, sending uh, things uh, made for children. We uh -huh. are teachers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I see, I see. To, to make money for, make money. for a trip. They <laughs> have no money, so... <laughs> you have no money, so you have to be here working late yes. at night. I've had this type of ice cream in Vieux Bucao. I want me a factory made ice cream this time. That was the first time I experienced some Portuguese music and it was fucking awesome. Really, really good stuff. Obrigado. <laughs> love it, love it. I just saw two police officers and they look cute. They look so pleasant and just kind, gentle. And I realized I've not had to deal with the po uh, police yet in Portugal. That's usually the first thing that happens when I get to a new country. I meet the police. <laughs> The Portuguese, they can sure throw their parties. Holy fucking shit. I've never seen so much people before in a pop-up theme park. Whatever this is, I'm having it. Okay. This is chocolate, right? Yes. And then you add, then you add this in, in it, right? 
And this is uh, cherry liquor. Cherry liquor. <laughs> nice, nice. You eat the chocolate. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll take the big one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do you have a water? Agua? One? Yes. One euro, right? Yeah. There you go. Ah, super. Thank you. I'm going to finish my water. <laughs> At least I'm going to start on my water. And then I'm going to go straight back to the car and sleep. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs> Sour cherry liquor. Might try some of this when I get back to the car. <laughs> Gosh. Good night.